ever start with a gather? I always start everything with a gather. So I can sink the chi down and get heavy weighted in your feet. And come to Wu Chi. Wu Chi is hands resting comfortably at the sides. You feel like you, you're, you have openness in your armpits. And my feet are, are hip width apart, um, mostly parallel instead of open. And I feel like I'm lifted with a string. And I always maintain this ever so slight stretch of the spine with the head going up and the tailbone sinking down. And then the first piece, you float up to the top of your head, palms face the ceiling. Always inhale at the beginning of each movement and exhale on the press out, away from the body. And inhale. So all the things that are happening on the press out um, are that chi is sinking down the back into the low back as you press out. And another way to think about this is as though you have a huge rubber band around your feet, all the way around your hands. So as you inhale first and press out, you're actually stretching the rubber band between your feet and hands. And so that automatically pushes your feet down into the ground. And inhale and exhale. And the last big piece about this movement is you want to hold your, you can do with chi circles eight rep repetitions. Four would be maybe in a power stretch sense where you're, you're creating opposing force or resistance in the movement. So the resistance in this one is the ribs and the scapula, everything, shoulder blades are pulling down and I'm pushing up against that. Here is no shoulder pulled down, here is shoulder pulled down. And I push up against that. So you push up a couple of times, pulling your shoulders down while you're pushing up. And then you can do the last couple with just chi and the chi rises, but your shoulders still don't come up, right? Your shoulders still don't ever come up. 